I'm Adam Gillette with Accuracy in Media. Today we are at the home of Texas State Rep Gary Van Dever in New Boston, Texas. Gary was a leader of the movement to block school choice here in the Lone Star State. Perhaps one of the reasons why Gary opposes school choice is that he's a taxpayer funded lobbyist for the teachers unions. You came out here today to vote. Yes, I did. I'm Can voting for Spencer. I looked up the voting records. I am not impressed with what Van Deeper has voted on his record in the past. Gary Van Deeper and other uh, rural Republicans blocked school choice repeatedly in Texas. With 86 votes for yes and 52 votes for no, again, the Texas House votes to prohibit public funding to be used for school vouchers. I think money should follow the children. If you want your child to go to this school, the money should go with that child. A lot of people don't know, but vouchers have been around since the 1800s. Our organization, Accuracy in Media, did hidden camera investigations throughout the state into critical race theory, which is illegal in K-12 education in Texas. In defiance of state law, administrators bragged about lying to parents, deceiving parents, and still pushing the principles associated with critical race theory. So the Abbott like, orders or whatever from a few months ago aren't really going to affect anything? I don't think so. Okay. Again, the bottom That's line is we're, best news. We, we, we've gotten around it by saying, well, we're just not teaching that. Is social emotional learning something that y'all do in Keller? It's kind of embedded. We had some things called social emotional, uh -huh. but when CRT came out with all the new laws, they had to change wording. The biggest thing is that we can't require diversity training or mandate it. Okay. So, which is different from previous years. There are ways to get around that. There's no reason for them to be blowing the money that is supposed to be going for the education of our children on something like that. Texas has less school choice than California, less school choice than New York. And one of the reasons is because rural Republicans consistently block education opportunities in the Lone Star State. And that's generally because the biggest employers in their district are public education. But we've got to ask ourselves, do public schools exist merely to create jobs or do they exist to educate the public? If we don't get our education to where it's at a higher level than what it has been, we're going to lose because other countries are now ahead of the United States in education. You have to have somebody in the office who's going to help our children all of our children.